Alrighty everyone, it's time to talk about scorpions and how to keep them out of your house. Number one, do not have scorpion food in your house, which means cockroaches and spiders and other creepy crawlies. I would assume they would eat, they would eat also the little cute millipedes that I sometimes see in the bathroom. Um, yeah, so they hunt at night, they like these type of, you know, other creepy crawlies and they will come in, they will be more tempted to come in. Secondly, um, make sure that you're sealing the doors where, um, you know, in the best way possible, which means, I'm saying this basically, if you can fit a credit card underneath your door and flip it into the room from outside, then that means that also a dime-sized or so scorpion is going to be able to get in. So, um, there are, like, I have, I do not have anything, uh, sealed off in this manner, um, uh, at the kitchen door, which is the main entrance in this house. And this is the main place where I always see all kind of, uh, all kind of terrible little things coming in, um, including the scorpion. And, um, however, at the bedroom door, which is the uh, other exit in the house, I do have like a wooden, wooden, what do you call, like a small thing installed right outside the door. So basically, there is a little space between the door and the floor, but there is this wooden thing, and therefore, nothing would really come in. <laughs> you know, I hope. <laughs> so, more. Uh, options are available. Um, I was reading up about you can, you know, this is not my house, this is a rental property, but if I would own a house in the tropical region, I would just uh, get like a rubber, kind of rubber bands, and it's possible to glue them uh, to the bottom of the door, and then that seals, seals it off. Um, okay, third thing. So I'm doing holistic videos, and I would definitely not recommend using chemicals or kind of repellents that are chemical um you know scorpions you might hide, hate them as much as you want and i do really not like them but you know they're an essential part of this uh environment so i don't want to encounter them and i don't want to kill them uh at the same time so instead of having some hardcore chemical sprays, I would recommend using um, essential oils. One of them is a pretty cheap option, which is cedarwood oil, which has been used for centuries to repel all kinds of pests in different climates. And they do not like cedarwood at all. So they're not gonna come in for their smell. The second one is actually a very uh, pricey one. For my standards, you know, that I bought cedarwood oil for $6.99 for a bottle like this. I don't know how I need to look. I'm going to do an essential oil video separately about what to pack for what I was packing, what was helping uh, to not have too many pests in the house. So this kind of $6.99 uh, at an essential oil, pure essential cedarwood oil, and then the same size uh, of cinnamon bark and there are two cinnamon types but the one you want is the one with more of these properties that pro repel uh, scorpions is called c uh, cinnamon bark uh, oil and that was $33 well I came here and I really do regret that I didn't buy that one uh, because I didn't spray too much of a cedarwood oil around before I got stung by a scorpion in the house which was hiding in a in a shoe yeah, so the fourth thing I would say, you know, to once you're in the house, you're in the tropics, and so you want to make sure that your shoes are clear. Uh, if you go hiking, you can put all your shoes and clothes, take an extra plastic bag and seal it off or, you know, close it off so that when you wear them the next morning, you don't have bad surprises. And if you go to a place like, let's say, uh, Corcovado National Park, 
which is basically a remote thing where you can if something bad happens to you you will probably die there because it's totally remote um you don't want to wind up with brazilian wandering spider bites which are deadly or scorpions which can be a major annoyance and a problem if you're allergic so these are the things I pretty much recommend um, if you go to tropics. I have not lived in deserts like Arizona desert. I don't know. Uh, I know that they're coming in during a colder season, but there is here there is just dry season and the wet season. So in the tropics, it's you know all year round, and it's possible to keep them out. All right, that's about all. I do need to go and actually kill a bunch of spiders. Um, and live and do what I'm do what I'm actually preaching so that's about all make sure that you subscribe to my channel watch my other videos like them comment them and share them but yeah so I'll see you next time